So it's been nine days since the chicks hatched and they are doing amazing. They are bright eyed, very active, bopping all over the place, singing their song to us every day and night. <laughs> They've been eating up a storm too. A bunch of our chicks have gone to their new homes. We're still in the process of arranging and setting up uh, the rest of the chicks to go to their new homes. But I wanted to give you guys an update on this cuckoo's chick. We're starting to get kind of an idea of what they are going to possibly look at when they're fully feathered out. So we're gonna start off with the darkest one. Come here, baby. Yeah. All right, so this is the darkest one out of the bunch. And you can kind of see, look at the feather tips. I'll come more to the light. So you see the feather tips and how they're kind of, you've got some blacks, you've got blues, but look at how there's like some white flecks on the feathers. That kind of makes me think that this one could look more like its mom. Could be, could still be a blue. We'll have to wait and see, we won't know. Hi honey, you're so sweet and so patient, good job. But look at the feather, look at the feather legs. You can see the feathers on its leg that it got from its mom, this cuckoo, who is a cuckoo moran, which that is one of their defining features is that they have light feathering on their legs. And then, let me show you guys here is the lightest of the bunch. And it's kind of funny because the way they hatched, it's kind of like, they ran out of ink. <laughs> so we've got the darkest one, followed by some lighter ones, and then this is, oh, come here, sweetheart. This is our lightest one right here. So this is our lightest one, and I'm gonna come more into the light so you can see it better. But this is, here are this one's wingtips. So you see how, how the wingtips look? That's gonna be giving us our best, kind of sneak peek at what this one's feathers are gonna look like when it's fully feathered out. So I'm eager to see, they could be solid blue, they could be blue with white spots like their mom. Hi buddy, I see you lur lur lurking there. <laughs> so we'll have to wait and see till they finish feathering out and then we'll see if, I'm, I'm, I'm curious, I'm really curious to see what they look like when they're fully feathered out. That's gonna be really, really cool. So if you watch the last vlog, you will see that we reclaimed a good chunk of our garden that had been previously horrendously overgrown. And unfortunately, I can't start planting in the garden yet because we've got to re-level it, bring in dirt, raise it up a bit so that we don't have a flooding issue anymore like we did before. So in the meantime, what we're going to be doing is we're gonna continue clearing it out, removing all everything, and then we're gonna scrape off that top layer of soil that we want to keep and then bring in more dirt to uh, fill in the lower areas, level it, and then put that good soil back on top. Ultimately, we, um, Originally, we put the orchard at the back side of the garden and then kind of realized a couple, like now this year, um, or the end of last year, that that actually is not a good place for our orchard in the grand scheme of things for our plans for the property. So we're actually gonna be moving the entire orchard to the back corner of our property. We have a little section of our property that is kind of uh, separated from the rest of the pastures with a uh, creek and berms and so we're gonna actually relocate the orchard to there, and then where the orchard currently resides will be additional garden space, as well as our Silky's new coop that we are currently in the process of collecting materials to build. So unfortunately, I can't, we can't uh, dig up and re-level and reset the entire area of the garden until we transplant those fruit trees. So that's what I'm starting to work on today while Davis is at work. Oh my goodness, it is windy out at the pasture today. Annabelle, we've been working heavily on putting weight on Annabelle before she calves. And I'd say that our efforts have been fruitful. Hi, mama. You looking so gorgeous. Look at how good you look. Oh man, Axel, thanks for the butt shot. Brutus is actually gonna be going to uh, the freezer in the next uh, couple months, pretty much as soon as we're ready. We're just seeing if we can put a little bit more weight on him before he goes. Jerseys, if you are raising them for meat, keep in mind, jerseys, their frame does not stop growing until 24 months of age. So, they don't start filling out until they are 24 months roughly. So you can, 
grow them out to 24 months, their frame stops building. If you send them off too soon, it's gonna be more bone than meat. So you actually want to wait until probably about a little over two years, probably about two and a half years. He's about two and a half years old now. We're just adding a little extra bulk to him before we send him off and we're eager to see how much meat we get from him. Wind outside today is atrocious. Holy cow, it is so windy out here, but I'm hoping that our new mic is, uh, is helping at least a little bit. That would be really nice. But got all the animals fed and we're gonna go ahead and get to work transplanting these trees, which should be fun. Because, um, yeah, we got a bunch. I mean, it's not like huge on the scale of things, but I mean, you do have quite a few trees that have been planted in the ground for two years now. And that's quite a bit of establishment. Establishing? Established? I don't know. But they're still kind of small, so I'm hoping that the root balls won't be too big. But we're gonna start with the banana trees. Which I thought, why don't I go ahead and also share a video on how to transplant, how to transplant and divide banana trees. So I'm gonna actually do a separate video on how to properly do that as well. This is one of two varieties of banana trees that we have on the farm. This is, we actually received this as a gift from the guy who we bought our old camper trailer from that we were almost gonna live out here in for a little while. And he said these are supposed to be ice cream bananas. Now, we have not really been giving them the care necessary to get bananas from them, um, but hopefully that here is gonna change soon because I learned something about bananas whenever we had our flooding. So we did get some bananas to take, and that was after the flooding that happened in the garden because this was also a lower lying area and they, they had a lot of water in the ground. And that seemed to caused them to set fruit and we got a bunch of bananas unfortunately i don't think they had enough nutrients so they didn't really grow to the size that they should have and they just were not good eating but it, i mean i don't know we're actually going to be transplanting these to an area where we get a lot of water and the soil is also very rich so we're going to go ahead and get these dug up and i'm going to go ahead and divide them as well and transplant them i was so happy because look what i finally got on earth one of our fig trees that we planted and whenever we planted this it was low like little little tiny look at how much it grew now it had gotten kind of overrun with grass and as you can see by all the cuttings here um, yesterday I actually came out here and started fishing it out and removing the grass but look at how tall it's gotten and now it's starting to send out the new growth I actually should have pruned this all right I'll come look for it I actually should have pruned this when it was dormant, but I kind of missed that period. But that's okay, because it is starting to send out, as you can see, it's sending out some shoots here and here. So we got some, we got, it'll, it'll start to branch out, which it's doing. So that's what you want it to do. So I'm thinking next winter, this coming winter, we'll do an actual pruning on it. It's amazing though, you can see the height of this one compared to the height of this one. Look at how much lower this one and that one. See, this, this is what it looked like. See how overgrown it is with grass? They are different varieties, so I'm wondering if maybe this variety is just doing better in our climate. Um, now this variety, I still have the tag on this one. This tag survived. This is the... <laughs> oh, it's funny. I, f I find this funny because we have wild magnolias on our farm, if you didn't know. And uh, this is actually the... Uh, magnolia fig <laughs> it was meant to be <laughs> but yeah though no, this is the magnolia fig and it's it's doing really really good as you can see so um we do have a couple um i am like i said i am planning on doing a pruning i don't know if it's too soon it's too late to do a pruning because we're starting to come in all the new growth um but i think we can still do a pruning if we're pruning out ones that we don't want to keep because that's i mean look at all these stems it's a lot of different stems i don't plan on keeping all of those stems so at some point we are going to come in and we're going to snip out the ones that we're not going to keep and i can propagate those cuttings and start new fig trees and then we could possibly have uh, multiple fig trees of this or we could sell them at the farmer's market to help fund the orchard and other projects out of the pasture are you ready to dig up these uh banana trees sure yeah yeah have i we're going to do it. You couldn't find the shovel? 
-mm. Okay, let's go find the shovel. We've got tools all over the property right now, so we've got our little shovel right there that is uh, really good for digging up uh, deep roots and such. And then we have the regular spade shovel, which I'm not sure where that ended up. So we've got to find that. Are you guys feeling fat and sassy? You guys all fattened up and now you're, you're just taking a nice snooze. fill-ups every so often we'll also fill up this 110 gallon water tank that we converted into a gravity water system and then all we gotta do is just run it over here and then we uh, we've got water for the goats without electricity if you want to see how we did that it was actually very affordable I'll share it is it I'll share it here I think it's here if not it's here I'll share it up here though if you guys want to go check that out Back on track. We gotta find the shovel. I, I, I want to at least get the banana trees transplanted today. Where is that shovel? We've got the post hole digger. Laying here. That's what we're looking for, though. We should go ahead and sand this up where it should go. It's easily found. There. That's there. I know the shovel is out here. It's. Where the heck did it go? No shovel in the shed. Leon remembered that we used the shovel for a pony party recently. We do pony rides on the side. We have a lot of things that we do. We too many things. Too many things. Aha! Yeah, here we go. Got it. So I'm gonna come in first with my uh, rice knife and I'm gonna just kind of help clear away some of this on the underside so I can clearly see what I'm cutting. Look at all these banana 
trees. Now we have a nice row of banana trees and it goes all the way along this path behind me that will ultimately be kind of like the walking path to the orchard. And so the path to the orchard will be lined with banana trees. And eventually we're also gonna have trees on the other side of the path as well. I'm not yet sure which trees, if it's gonna be more banana trees, we'll see. I thought I would let y'all see Mocha and her baby. They have been doing excellent out at the pasture, settled in nicely. Mocha's baby is uh, thoroughly enjoying the pepper bush right here that's down. And it's a huge jungle gym for him. Let me see if I can get in here and see him. Mocha! Baby! He's been coming to me when I call him. Little one! Where are you, baby? Hey, what are you doing over there? What are you doing over there? Are you playing with mom? Oh! What are you doing in here? Mocha, are you hiding? Hi! Are you playing with mom? What are you doing over here? Oh! Parkour! Look at you! Oh man! Are you having fun? Hey buddy! Oh man, look at you! You're having a blast! Yes you are! Are you having fun? Here, there you go. Go into my hand. <laughs> are you having fun? Oh, you're so frisky! He has been loving this little area. My hands smell like dirt. <laughs> I know, you're just like wanting to play. I think I think he's almost big enough to try and in oh. <laughs> I think he's almost big enough to try to <laughs> introduce him to Sophie and Waffle. Oh my goodness, you're just so full of energy. Oh my goodness. You gonna show off some crazy stunts? Crazy stunts? Crazy stunts? What are you doing? Oh, say, Mama, I want to play. Oh! You can't jump on your mom! <laughs> oh my goodness! You're loving this in here, aren't you? Hi, handsome. Oh, I know, you're so athletic. We all see it, we see it. You're so athletic, you're showing off. Yes, oh, that feels good. <laughs> oh, what? As you can see, he is awful of spunk. And he is playing, oh man, and look at how big he's gotten. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. No. He just wants to play so much. Hi, baby. Oh, oh, did I find a scratch? Oh, I found a scratch. Oh, does that feel good? Do you have any more scratches? <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh, just my sweet baby. Yes, you are. You just want the loves and the plays. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you just wanting attention? Is that what's going on here? You just want all the attention? <laughs> so voting is still going strong for little man here. And we are... Uh, Still accepting votes. We've only had 20 responses. We've got, come on, we've got, we've got over 6,000 subscribers and we've only gotten 20 responses to voting for a little man's name. So I'm gonna leave the link down below for you to go vote for his name right now. It is head to head for Frappe, Caramel, and those are the current top, top runners. Come here, my sweet baby. Oh, you wanna go show snuggles? Let's all get some snuggles. Can I get some snuggles? Yes. <laughs> All right, now go play. Oh. 
Can you go no, do another high jump? Oh, what are you doing? Are you gonna try and jump on my back? Are you gonna try and jump on my back? <laughs> Be sure to go down, click the link down below, and go cast your vote for his name. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave it open for a few more, for two more days, and then I'm gonna close out the votes and announce what name y'all chose for him. Are you guys excited to learn your name? I'm excited to learn your name. Oh, 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 is there a scratch there? Is there a scratch there? Oh, is it? Oh, where is it? Oh, did I get it? Did I find it? Oh, 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 there it is. I'm finding all the scratches. You got any scratches over here? <laughs> you want hugs? Come here, you. Come here. Come give me them lovings. You're so my baby. You're so my baby. Mwah. You're such a sweet little boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, I know. All right, go play. Go have fun. Drive your mom crazy. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys next time.